day than yes. yesterday. We had a little bit of sunshine, mm -hmm. then the clouds started to fill in, and that's the story really over the weekend. Right. We've got some sunshine, then the clouds will start to roll in. Temperatures, though, become a bit more mild once we get you through the afternoon on your Sunday. Looking at that winter storm system that is still building across the Midwest, it's bringing in some three to five inches of snow for folks out from areas of Iowa and possibly into the Great Lakes. We could see even more as we get to go in late tonight. So some of those flight delays may be possible out toward Chicago O'Hare and then as you head out toward areas in Missouri, Kansas City area. All right, taking a look right now, we've got a few clouds that are in the mix. We've got a system that's set up to the west. This could be a trigger for us of an isolated shower late tomorrow with a front advancing. Temperatures though at 42 degrees in the triad right now. You have seen upper 40s today. That is about a 10 degree temperature drop, typically at about 57 degrees this time of the year. Instead, we only hit 48 degrees officially in Greensboro. So that system is what we're watching move in from the west. And so if you have any fellow travelers in your household who might be heading back in that direction, or maybe you're heading out for tomorrow and work, we were talking about those shower chances building and across most of the east coast. Now the snow chance is really lifting north across the Great Lakes. So that's the good news. It doesn't look as wintry for most folks, but when we talk about overnight conditions for you, even late tomorrow night, it could be slick on the road. So we want you to be cautious there. If you have a chance to travel earlier in the day on Sunday, that may be best if you're traveling anywhere in the southeast or heading north as well. Temperatures out there will be in the low 50s on your Sunday. We head into your Monday and we quickly clear out. We'll see some mid to upper 50s out there across the south and still a dry stretch for us. Now, back and forth between the cold too, so we do have a lot changing for us. You see temperatures tomorrow morning at 34 degrees in the mountains. We have high temperatures only in the low to mid 40s and then so 24 to about 46 degrees there and in the foothills you're seeing temperatures that are really chilly 27 degrees warming only to about yeah 47 degrees tomorrow I should say 52 degrees that was today right it was too chilly today we do take you back into the 50s also in the Piedmont tribe we've got temperatures down from 29 degrees warming gradually through the morning hours good sunshine that'll help us out and 53 for that afternoon high a look ahead we've got morning lows up and down a little bit here as we talk about that slight rain chance late tomorrow evening it's going to be limited across the Piedmont tribe and even for parts of the foothills and mountains. The best chance of rain will be along the Blue Ridge Parkway, mainly western slopes and under a tenth of an inch. So right now, Rain chances low until the end of the week with a rain chance of about 30% for Friday into Saturday. And even then, not all of that moisture may make it to the ground. We do have temperatures, though, that look better for afternoon highs through the end of next week. We just have to get through some cold morning lows. 20s developing again for Tuesday morning, and that'll stretch out through Thursday with afternoon highs that gradually warm up again. We do need the rain. We're looking forward to those 60s, though, likely next Saturday. We'll have much more for you coming up.